Hello friends, let us now learn some important topic about vascular wall response to injury from Robbins. So, integrated functioning of endothelial cells and the smooth muscle cells which are present in the uh, blood vessel is very important. Okay, so if you see the endothelial cells, these are the specialized linings of the blood vessels. So, the endothelial cells are also present, these endothelial cells are also present in lining the sinusoids of blood vessels. They are also lining the glomeruli of kidney. So, the endothelial cells will be lining the normal blood vessels, glomeruli of kidney and they will also be lining the sinusoids of liver. They will be lining even the central nervous system, right? But if you see, there are important functions, you know, important things about these. The endothelial cells in the two things. The endothelial cells which are lining the liver sinusoids, that is in liver and the kidney glomeruli are actually fenestrated. Fenestrated means they have small holes which will allow the substances to pass through them. So, this is the fenestrations which you can see. So, these are fenestrated endothelial cells. We have fenestrated endothelium. And second type, we have impermeable endothelium. So, in uh, especially if you see in the blood, in the blood there is blood brain barrier. In the blood brain barrier, the endothelial cells are tightly in contact to each other that Thus, they do not allow any substances to pass through. That is called as blood brain barrier. Right? Then, these endothelial cells are actually multifunctioning cells. They are very important for maintaining the homeostasis of the blood vessel and also for the circulatory function. These endothelial cells are non thrombotic, they do not cause any. Uh, they do not uh, uh, initiate they in they do not initiate any thrombus formation they also modulate the smooth muscle cells and they also produce hormones like angiotensin hormones and they also regulate inflammation and they although if you see the interendothelial junctions that is the uh, space between the, the junction between the two endothelial cells this does not allow that this is more that does not this is largely impermeable although this inter endothelial junction is largely impermeable but this will also allow the flow of substances like histamine or some vasoactive agents electrolytes and proteins which are involved in inflammation. In inflammation especially, they will allow the flow of these substances. Okay. These endothelial cells also will have respond, they will also respond to certain stimulus. So, endothelial cells are actually activated by cytokines and also bacterial products and severe and these cytokines and bacterial products will cause inflammation and in severe cases, they are also activated by septic shock or some hemodynamic stresses or lipid products. Okay, all these will also activate it especially in atherosclerosis and sometimes some other substances like um, glycation end products are we, uh, activate the endothelium especially in diabetes mellitus. Whereas some viruses, complement proteins and hypoxia will also activate the endothelium. Right? All these substances will activate the endothelium. Once this endothelium is activated, what happens? Now, activated endothelium will now express the adhesion molecules. And one, this, these adhesion molecules will produce cytokines, chemokines and growth factors and they also produce vasoactive mediators. So, as a result, all these will either cause 
result in if they are vasoactive mediators they will result in vasoconstriction or vasodilatation whereas these chemokines cytokines and growth factors will uh, act will result in mhc molecules or uh, formation of other biological products okay so these endothelial cells will also produce nitric these endothelial cells will also produce nitric oxide and endothelin this nitric oxide will actually relax the smooth muscle cells present in the endo present in the media whereas endothelin will contract the smooth muscle cells present in the media and as a result nitric oxide causes vasodilatation whereas endothelin causes vasoconstriction so if there is any endothelial dysfunction if this endothelial dysfunction can occur in large number of diseases right now um after this endothelium even the vascular smooth muscle cells are also very important okay so when there is a vessel injury what actually happens when there is a vessel injury this will do two things one it will activate the smooth muscles okay so as a result these smooth muscle muscles will proliferate and they become recreated and they these smooth muscles will cause thickening of intima this intimal thickening is the main stereotypical injury response of vessel that occurs in our body these smooth muscles are actually the precursors um, and these sometimes these medial smooth muscles see how does these smooth muscles cause intimal thickening right so if you see this is the adventitia this hole is the media and this is the endothelium okay this is the endoth intima okay now these smooth muscles see this is the internal elastic lamina okay now this smooth muscles which are present these will proliferate 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 and they will migrate to the intima and they will fill the intimal region here so as a result these smooth muscles will migrate and fill the intima so this elastic uh, internal elastic lamina will now be somewhere here because all these smooth muscles from the media have reached the intima now this resulted in intimal thickening so this is the main event that occurs okay now these smooth muscles which are newly formed in the intima are given a name these are called as neo intimal smooth muscles these neo intimal smooth muscles are actually motile and they undergo uh, cell division and these uh, neo intimal smooth muscles are regulated by cytokines plate uh, and growth factors these cytokines and growth factors will regulate these neo intimal smooth muscles these cytokines and growth factors are derived from platelets or endothelial cells or macrophages okay so the main response to injury is development of neo intimal smooth muscle or thickening of intima thank you for watching